All right. We're good? Yeah. Okay. So, um, if you guys want to state your name. And... Um, I'm Sean. I'm Jesse. And we're in Nautical Collective. Collective. All right. So if you guys could go back and redo, like, the little EP that you guys did, what would you guys want to do differently? Definitely. Yeah, add more songs. Uh, well, the thing is that a lot of our songs are short, mm -hmm. so maybe just add more lyrics to those songs. You know, develop them better, uh, practice them, and then do it. Should I hold this diamond in my phone? Go, go away. Okay, so why did you guys decide to be an acoustic band instead of? Um, well, <laughs> when we first started out. We really be loud right. and I, I, I had an acoustic guitar and that's how we always jam and also um, we don't we don't have enough people yeah actually, <laughs> just, band. Two. just us too so I, I just uh, the sound with the acoustic is just better for yeah. our music right now and also inspiration is like the front bottom so, yeah. mm -hmm. a lot of acoustic stuff yeah. over there. do you guys ever plan to add other members or just remain the two uh, we're we're thinking about looking for drummers and or a drummer and a bassist, mm -hmm. so we can actually get like a better sound and more like impact on people. Mm -hmm. yeah, at a point, we had a drummer, yeah. but uh, we usually play coffee shops and other places, so those places don't really allow drummers in there. Mm -hmm. So we just kind of we so, definitely want yeah. a full band. Mm -hmm. So individually, what song means the most to you guys that you guys have written? That's a hard one. <laughs> That's a hard one. Um, I want to say just stop crying because that it was like I wrote that off of like an actual relationship that I was in, and I don't know. It's just like it was like personal. Uh, for me, both. Uh, I think this is two. Um, fighting tigers. It's like an allegory. It's just you know like I really got deep into that writing. Um, and it's about myself, but you know, it's really not. A, like I've never fought a tiger. I've never gotten shot. <laughs> no, I don't. And I still have my arms and my legs, but it's kind of about you know like making bad decisions and letting down the person you love. And also uh, a new song uh, we have is called Samsara, which is I kind of went outside my comfort zone and wrote lyrics that uh, I'm not used to writing. Really? So where is it that you guys get the inspiration for? Already too much work for I feel like a lot of it's just off the top of our head. Yeah, a lot of it's, uh, you know, sometimes we sit down and just kind of go through the song and play it over and over. We just come up with lyrics as we can. A lot of times when he's at work, they'll write lyrics and then he'll come to me and like, oh, I got these lyrics and I like, I sing them like this in my head and then I'll just, we'll just sit there and I'll come up with something. Yeah, and a lot of, you know, just uh, having just everyday life, you know, seeing something like a, like a homeless man on the side of the street yeah. and just come up with something, you know, like something in my head and I'm like, okay, I'm going to write it down look back in my notes and slowly write. Also like life experience. Yeah. A lot of life experiences. Like asking moms to buy us beer. Yeah, you know, like uh, asking moms to buy us beer, you know, uh, fighting homeless kids, getting drunk, yeah, you know, doing drugs. <laughs> yeah. So what were your intentions when you actually started? Have fun. Yeah, just have fun. You know, we got together. We actually um, when we were in high, we knew each other in high school. Yeah. And I used to. Um, he was an asshole. I was an asshole to him. <laughs> I, used, I used to pick on him a lot. And then one day we got together. You know, he's like, "Oh, I play music. Yeah, I play music as well." We started jamming, you know, covers and all that. And then one day we just decided. He actually forgot that he used to be mean to me in high yeah. school until I brought it up to him. And he was like, "Oh man, I'm sorry." Yeah, this, that was you. Oh god, I feel, I feel horrible. <laughs> yeah, just, just have fun, you know. Yeah. I think, I personally think. People have told us that we, we have potential to, to you know, but it's, it's really just fun, you know, making music and playing shows and just being together. It's just a lot of fun. That's actually the, the first song we ever wrote. We we don't play anymore, but because uh, it was just for shits and giggles. Mm -hmm. But it was literally for shits and giggles. But it's like, a good it song. Was, it's a good song. <laughs> it's dumb. <laughs> it's a good song, but it's it's hard to play. It's yeah. hard to sing. But. So do you guys have any other? We wanna, well right now, we're kind of working on our first album, mm -hmm. and uh, we're also just, you know, putting shit on YouTube and whatnot, and, well, and, actually, and uh, we have we have enough 
uh, stuff to put for two albums, yeah. like 14 songs each album, and we've just been procrastinating and working on them. Yeah, when we first started, you know, um, we, we were so excited that we started writing a lot. We started writing a lot. We had uh, we came up with our few first album, we won, got our EP, and then after that, as we were doing our EP, like, like I said, we have enough material to make two albums, but we've yet to find somebody to record our music. Um, so who would you guys say that your musical influences are? Uh, <laughs> definitely, like I said, the Brill Models. Um, Harley Poe. Hey, where's Alicia at? Not so, here yet? We're doing an interview. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, the front bottoms, Harley Poe. Um, I listen to more of like a Tiger Shaw title play and stuff like that. Well, yeah, um, Neutral Milk Hotel, that's a big inspiration to me from Bottoms. Uh, the funny thing about it, and I'm sorry, I don't know how long your interview can be. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I talk a lot. Yeah. Um, the funny thing about it is that he likes. Um, Pop punk, you know, like the the, the music, the, you know, hardcore, and I, I don't like that, that kind of music. I listen to a lot of uh, the Smiths, 80s music, The Cure, uh, Joy Division, all these, like, you know, like Paul Anka, like 50s music. So that's, you know, that's my inspiration. It's mostly the Smiths, uh, Bright Eyes, Billy Smith. Yeah. So it's cool because I come up with this lyrics, and so does he. And, you know, like, he makes this fast, you know, pop punk tunes. <laughs> The thing is, like, just mixing both of our our preference of music, we kind of made our own sound up for that. 